So sporadically, we're gonna do a very quick how to put a front clip on a shoebox, even though the front suspension is masterful on them. <laughs> However, we have made some marks here. That little guy right there, we're cutting straight down. And he just happens to line up real nice with an S10 clip at the front of this little guy right there. And both of those are the same. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this on there, it's gonna be badass right now. Uh, while we're doing the S10 front clip on the shoe box, we might as well bag it. I'm not going to install it, then crawl into a fender, and then do it. I'm way too old for that stuff. So what I do is take the whole front clip, flip it upside down. When we're doing the airbags, we always do a, uh, a uh, an eyebrow out here to clear all the control arm in the bag. What I do is line up to this little guy out here, to like that line. This is the S10 clip. I've done a whole lot of these. I come out here. And then on this side, same thing, where this kind of wraps around. I like to line it up to there. We come down. I've already cleaned it all off since plasma cutters do not like grease. And we're going to come down about an inch and a half. I'm just kind of freehanding this, so whatever. I'm sure it'll work. Pretty sure. We've done a lot. There. And we're just going to cut that whole section out nice and smooth. And then when we're done with that, we're gonna come back here and cut this out, this lip here. It just makes room for a bigger bag so you can uh, have a better ride height with less pressure. Fit up, looking good. Time to do some tacking. All right, came back over here to Dan's to finish up videoing for our tip of the day. We did an S10 front and clip on a 51 shoebox Ford. Came out really, really nice. We showed you where to cut, where to clip. Uh, we did a butt joint, butted the front clip right up to the uh, factory frame. Fit in really well. We're gonna end up doing a double plate inside and outside. We've not done that yet. But it sat really nice in there. Wheel walls are uh, nice and centered. Everything's good. The steering looks like it's gonna work. Uh, should lay down really good. This doesn't have spindles or anything on it. It's just trimmed out S10 clip and sitting decently low. However, we're going to cut a little bit more and we're going to make it lay hard and Dan doesn't know that yet. So, sh Anyways, so hopefully this taught you something for our tip of the day.